Welcome to the Daily Writer Podcast, where we bring you tips and inspiration each day to help you build habits for writing success. For more resources, including your free Daily Writer Starter Kit, visit dailywriterlife.com. Today, we live in an age when anybody can self-publish and potentially reach millions of followers and readers on social media and through other means. But a lot of writers seem hesitant to really make a go of it. Well, why is that? I think it's because many times we're waiting for somebody to give us permission to go ahead and reach for our dreams. You know, our society is based around the concept of giving permission. As kids, we couldn't do anything without the permission of parents or teachers or maybe even older siblings. As somebody who's got an older brother, my brother is almost five years older than me. As a kid, I remember sometimes it was it's kind of hard because when you've got older siblings, uh, they're always there and sometimes you can't seem to do anything without them letting you do it. Then as adults, we feel hamstrung by the constant need to get permission from bosses, leaders, our social circle, our family, or even just society in general. And a lot of people spend their whole lives just waiting for somebody to give them permission to go ahead and write. But I'm here to tell you that you don't need permission. You really don't need it. Just go ahead and do it. We're all waiting for you to share your wisdom and your voice, your knowledge, and your perspective on life. So if it helps, if you're the kind of person who needs permission, I am here to be your permission giver. If nobody else in your life is giving you a green light, remember that your buddy Kent is giving you permission today. I want you to go ahead and do it. I want you to put yourself out there. I want you to do the writing that for whatever reason you've been kind of holding back on. You've got something important to share, and we've all been patiently waiting to hear it. So here's today's challenge. What have you been holding back in your writing because you've been waiting for permission? Go ahead and take the first steps toward getting it done. I promise when you do this, it's going to be such a great feeling, and you're going to be really, really proud of yourself. And I'm going to be proud of you too. Hey, a big thanks to today's sponsor, Indie Author University, featuring the Book Marketing Mastery course. If you're tired of being disappointed by book sales and you want to sell more books faster, easier, and have more fun in the process, make sure and check it out. Book Marketing Mastery is created by my friend and business coach, Honoré Corder, who has sold over 4 million books. It's time to stop taking book marketing advice from people who've never written or marketed a book and let a true expert guide you in this process. And the way to do that is to sign up for Book Marketing Mastery by going to dailywriterlife.com slash Book Marketing Mastery and using the code Daily Writer. That's all one word, Daily Writer, and that'll get you 10% off. Make sure and check it out. You're really going to enjoy this course. It's fantastic. Now, to wrap up this episode, I want to share with you another mini interview with one of our amazing Daily Writer Club members. You've probably heard me doing this the past couple of weeks. A couple of times a week, I share a short interview with somebody who's part of our Daily Writer Club. And I'm doing this not just so not just to promote the club. I mean, I'm, that is one reason I'm doing it. But the main reason here is that I want you to meet these amazing writers and these amazing people. They have been such a blessing in my life and they're doing really, really cool things. And today I'm excited to introduce you to my good friend, Perry Gabbard. Perry is a seeker, storyteller, and observer of nature. As a lifelong backpacker and hiker, he completed the Pacific Crest Trail and Colorado Trail while traversing over 4,800 miles in the mountains of the Western United States. Now, keep in mind, he didn't drive this. He hiked this. That is a lot of miles. So Perry's done something pretty darn extraordinary, I've got to say. Perry loves to share the joy of wilderness travel with others through writing, speaking, and guiding. He's also the author of the brand new book, Stepping Out on an Adventure of Faith, What I Learned About Trusting God While Hiking the PCT. You can find Perry and his inspiring blog posts, as well as his book at inspiretoseek.com. All right, here's my conversation with the amazing Perry Gabbard. Perry, thanks for taking a few minutes to be our guest today on this episode of The Daily Writer. Um, Let's start out by having you share a little bit about yourself and the kind of writing that you do. All right. Uh, I guess I describe myself as really being an adventurer, uh, a seeker, and, and really a storyteller. I'm a lifelong backpacker and hiker, and so uh, I love getting out and spending time in some wilderness places. Uh, I've 
completed the Pacific Crest Trail, Colorado Trail, and, and really hiked over 4,800 miles when I added it all up over the, my lifetime throughout the mountains. Of That's the a States. lot. That's a lot of miles. Whew. But over a lot of time. But I, I love to share that joy, the wilderness travel, you know, writing, speaking, and guiding. And uh, really my greatest joy, though, I think, is being the husband of a beautiful lady and, uh, and the father of three boys and a grandpa to uh, five great-grandchildren. So I'll say grandchildren, and they're great. <laughs> I wonder if, you know, I, I never thought about this before, but, and I've known you for a long time, but I wonder if there's a correlation between the act of hiking and doing basically a long distance, but you're doing, you know, you're only doing a certain amount each day. You're not doing it all in one shot. I wonder if there's a correlation between that, but also the act of writing a book, which is kind of the same thing. You have this big thing, but you just take it a little bit at a time. Would you say as somebody who's really experienced in the hiking world and you have a book coming out really soon, have you found that there's any kind of, of correlation between those two things? Yes. I mean, I love the thought that comes out in recovery circles of just taking a day at a time and even a moment at a time. And uh, most of my writing has been started, uh, but the genesis of that was through blogging. And I found that by walking, uh, using my phone with it in airplane mode, uh, using Microsoft Word, and talking to text at moments when there's great inspiration flowing. Um, yeah, you know, there's just so many deep spiritual things that uh, come about through that. And, uh, and it helps for me to be more clear and concise by using words. And your thoughts generally try to untangle themselves uh, through that experience. So one day at a time, uh, one, you know, one chapter at a time, uh, it's really been an amazing journey. And now finishing my first book, it's pretty exciting. Wow. I, I can't wait to see the final product. When does your book come out, by the way? We are working toward uh, a May 1st uh, okay. release. I love various people have shared how their kids have spurred them on. And uh, my son said, Dad, for my birthday, I want a signed copy of your book. So that has been the uh, <laughs> the stake in the ground that has driven me to try to accomplish uh, you know, get this thing done. And so I'm excited about that. So remind listeners what the title of your book is and, and what the overall idea of it is. Sure. Um, it's called Stepping Out on an Adventure of Faith. It's about what I learned about trusting God while hiking the Pacific Crest Trail. So the Pacific Crest Trail was a 40-year dream for me in, in college. Um, and later in life, being able to retire early, I was able to, uh, to work on hiking that 2,650-mile trail from Mexico to Canada. And uh, in the process of that, uh, there were many, you know, a lot of uh, uh, great moments. There was a, times of discouragement, disillusionment, uh, finally coming back around to a new understanding and even, uh, I think, a helpful framework that I share with readers uh, it's really a pattern that I observed in nature, and it seems to be true in my own life. And so I use that as a framework to uh, to write about. So that's uh, it's it's really uh, about the things I've learned, and uh, and it's actually pretty exciting. Uh, there's some adventurous uh, stories, uh, crossing raging streams and meeting mountain lions, and uh, crossing frightening uh, snow-packed mountain passes. But that's uh, you know there's high adventure, but they're just great moments with people. And, uh, and animals, and uh, I, I try to relate as much as that as possible. So for, for people who are trying to finish a book that they're working on, or they're, they're just thinking about writing a book, any advice for, for those people who maybe they're having a little bit of a struggle trying to finish that project or even start it? What would you tell them to help them to just keep on going? Well, first off, um, you know, having a mentor uh, who helps lead you in that process. And for me, honestly, that's been Ken uh, for quite a while. And also having a group of people to be accountable to. So there's two groups. One is this daily writer group. And there's another group outside of here that Kent helped establish. We call it the, the Men's Mojo Mastermind. Uh, but a group of, of friends that we encourage our, each other's creative activity. So there's a level of uh, accountability there. And, uh, and also just much like this hiking journey, uh, just the realization of not, you know, don't, don't become overwhelmed by the monumental size of the task. But uh, as mm. we talked about, take it a day at a time, a chapter at a time. And uh, when you become discouraged, don't don't give up. I love it, man. That's good advice. No matter where you are in the writing journey, 
don't quit because you can you can have been doing it a long time and you can still feel like you want to quit sometimes. I'm sure that's really, really common. I know I feel it <laughs> on a pretty regular basis when things get tough. Um, and sh- just real quickly, as as I get very close to now, you know, it's being formatted. Um, I see the completed product. Um, there's just a real joy inside that, wow, I think this has really been worth it. It's a, it's kind of an emotional experience, right? To, to go through that, uh, to see it through. And finally, um, wow, it's going to be worth it. It really is going to be worth it. So I encourage other people to stick with it. Don't give up. Well, thank you. Where can listeners find out more about you and your book and anything else that you've got going on? Sure. So I have a website uh, that's called Inspire to Seek. Uh, all, all together, and uh, inspired to seek dot com, and also just an email. Uh, my trail name is Perigee P E R I G E E three one at Gmail. Right now, just a heads up: we're in the middle of uh, revamping the revitalizing the website to accommodate uh, the publishing of the new book. So you may or may not see a completed product, but uh, I'm excited. That's a place where you can go to find uh, resources and inspiration. Awesome. Thank you so much, Perry. I appreciate you. And I cannot wait to hold a copy of your book in my hands here in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm just so proud of you for doing this. I know it's been a project that's been in the works for a really long time. And it's going to be really satisfying for me to hold it in my hands. I'm sure so much more for you because mm-hmm. you, you're not just reading about it. You actually lived this. Mm-hmm. So congrats on finishing the PCT. That was a big, massive challenge. And congrats on the upcoming book. It's really exciting. So thanks for taking a few minutes to to share this with our Daily Writer listeners. Thank you, Ken. Hey, I hope you enjoyed my mini interview with Perry. As you can tell, he's a very heart-centered guy. And on top of that, a really great adventurer and hiker and a phenomenal writer as well. So make sure and check out his book, Stepping Out on an Adventure of Faith, What I Learned About Trusting God While Hiking, while hiking the PCT. Sorry, I can't talk today. Check it out. It's a really, really fun book, particularly if you're a person of faith and you like outdoorsy stuff. But even if you don't fall into either of those two categories, this book is going to be really, really inspiring. Plus, you don't want to miss out on Perry's amazing writing. So check it out. As always, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.